In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen here from the maths paper 1 3 from 2024 Cambridge A level exams. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, have a look in the description below. There should be a link to a playlist. And if you're looking for a different paper entirely, have a search on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully, just like you're used to doing in the classroom. But remember, we're not in the classroom, we're on YouTube, so take advantage of that pause, rewind, even watch it at a different speed. If you find this video or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, a share, or even a super thanks. In question one, we're given this expression here and we're asked to find the coefficient of the x squared part. So don't worry, we don't have to multiply out uh, this entire term. It could take, I don't know how long it would take, uh, half an hour or so. Um, we're gonna use the binomial expansion, but before we do, so, Hang on a second before we do that. We need to think through what we're looking for Because what are we expanding out? The only one really is this second term here. We're going to expand that out But remember we're not going to look for the x squared part of that because we're still going to multiply it by this guy here So let's assume we expand this out. We'll do that in a moment. We'll get lots of terms and we're only interested in a small number of them. So let's figure out what numbers we're interested when expanding out uh, this term, which we'll do down here somewhere. Um, we're not just interested in the x squared part because we're gonna end up multiplying by these two. So the two will multiply by the x squared part. So I am interested in that um, with some number in front of it. But we're also gonna multiply by this five x. Which that means I'm also interested in the x part. Um, the x part here, because that's gonna end up multiplying by this five x. And so both of these terms are important to find the x squared part. Hopefully that's, uh, that's clear. So let's use the binomial expansion on this to find both of these terms. I'll start with the, the, I'll start with the zero term, even though we're not gonna use it, just so you can see the whole pattern. Um, that's a 10 choose zero. Although this isn't written in your formulas, uh, one to the power of 10, three x to the power of zero. Again, that's not written in your formulas, but sometimes you'll see it in the, the more complete formula. Uh, the next term is 10 choose one, and then it's one, one is just the first term here. One to the power of nine, so one less than that one. Three, to the power of, uh, three times x, which is the second term, to the power of one more than this one. One. Uh, next one will be 10 choose one, uh, choose two, I'm sorry. Uh, one to the power of eight, so one less again. Three x to the power of two. And this stays going on. I'm just not interested in it anymore. In fact, I wasn't even interested in this first one here, which uh, we can do in our head. Uh, anything choose zero is just one. Uh, one to the power of anything is just one. Uh, something to the power of zero is just one. This, this term is just one. But again, we're not actually interested in it. At uh, this term we're interested in, uh, 10 choose one, you can put it in your calculator, but anything choose one is, is the something you started with. So that's 10, one to the power of nine is one, uh, three x to the power of one is three times x. So that becomes 30 x, that's our first term. Let me just check uh, my numbers there, yeah. And uh, next one is 10 choose two. I, I do need to use calculator for that, it comes out as 45, I'm fairly sure, yeah, 45. Uh, one to the power of eight is one. Three squared is nine, and x squared is x squared. Uh, Clean that up, uh, nine 45s is 405 x squared. But remember, there's lots of terms here, lots of terms here, and we're gonna multiply this by um, two minus five x. But I'm, I just don't care about most of them. Uh, there's like 11 terms in here. I'm, I don't care about most of them. In fact, even these two here, I don't care about two times 30 X. So that's just gonna give an X answer. I, I don't care. So be smart what you multiply out. I do care about two times 409, uh, 405 gives me 810 X squared because two times this, we, we'll have an X squared in the answer. I also care about the minus five times, the, uh, minus five X times 30 X because the two x's will give an x squared. Uh, minus five times 30 is 150 x squared. Uh, take these away and uh, what do we get? We get uh, 660 x squared. 
Just double check that answer. Yeah, and that's it. That's your answer. Although they did ask for the coefficient. So I guess technically the full answer is just 660. I don't think you lose a mark for not separating that out. Okay, that's a question one. That was a tricky uh, binomial expansion. Uh, usually they're a bit more straightforward than that. But still, every, every part of that is something you're expected to know. If you have any follow-on questions, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.